Thank you to Game Work Create for being a channel partner. Looking for a Kickstarter game you missed or 3D printed minis? Game Work Create has a huge selection available, all at a fair price. Use the link in the description below to check out all that Game Work Create has to offer. What's up, Rockstars? Today's video is going to be an important one for those of you that are wanting to get a game that might be region locked to specific countries. If there's a board game that does not deliver to your country, this might be a video for you. Now, as always, I'd like to give a huge shout out at the beginning to my patrons and YouTube members. It is through their financial support that this channel is possible. If you enjoy my honest critique of the industry or some of my reviews or anything like that, that is in large part thanks to them. They keep me going so that I don't have to rely on the game industry to actually critique the game industry as much as I can. If you appreciate that level of independence, there's a link down below. Additionally, there's a cool Discord. There's uh, audio updates every single week. There's a lot of cool stuff and insights into the channel that you might enjoy as well. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and just dive right in. Except remember to like the video on your way out, regardless of anything. I don't care. You don't have to give me nothing, just a like or even a comment saying this video was helpful. Trust me, makes it all worthwhile. So thank you for that. I'm going to go over a few different things now. And really, again, this is just me coming up with a list of things that you can do that I, I, I know can work. And then of course you can look into the ins and outs of stuff, especially when it comes to bringing stuff in from another country. Different people have different customs. Some might be more expensive. Some might be more strict. There's all sorts of stuff. For instance, I reviewed Wolfenstein. It has a swastika on it. If you were trying to get that into Germany, best of luck. I don't know the situation or situation around that and I don't pretend to know. So this isn't a catch all thing that'll just get anything out of the country you want. We're not trying to smuggle stuff in. We're getting board games here. Okay. So keep that in mind, but keeping in line with Germany, one of the most most surefire ways to get this done is to work with a company that does this. You can get some post forwarding. So for instance, forward to me here, it comes from Germany. You get a German address and then you can have it shipped to you. You can tell it's German because they have this German lady here who's obviously German. It's just, just obvious because I guess that's what people in Germany look like. No, the, the, the point is that um, when they control what the thing you're going from, especially when it comes to like Kickstarter or something like that, or typically any website in general that's shipping it. So digitally getting the game, they are controlling it based off the address you put into the shipping. They don't go and check your, you know, typically they don't go and check for any kind of government ID from you, right? Or they're, or they're you're not trying to prove yourself with a utility bill here, right? They just care, does this address resolve to these countries that are okay? In which case, there you go, you're good to go. This is what these post forwardings do to you. They have one here from like Germany. They have one here from the good old US of A. So if you want a US postal address that you can put into that, you know, pledge manager or put into that shipping information or billing information or whatever you need to do, this will get you that so here's one from the U.S. If you're trying to get something that's not available in your country or, you know, in like Europe or something like that, or if there's something available in Europe that you're trying to get elsewhere, you can sometimes do it with something like this. Or again, there's plenty of others. And I haven't looked up, you know, better bureau ratings to any of these. I haven't looked up any ratings at all. They might be crap services. I'm just giving you examples, right? So there is a such thing of that. What they do is they get your mail and then typically they'll take a picture of it or scan it or, you know, do whatever it is. They'll say what they do. And then you have an app that it notifies you, Hey, we got this package and you can then decide, yes, ship that to me here, or ship it to you there. So you are paying for an extra shipping because it first has to ship to them and then ship to you. But it means you can get through that wall. That is that address. When they, you put in your U S address and it says, Oh, nope, sorry, not shipping to the U S. Well, you could do it with something perhaps like this one right here. So forwarding services, definitely, I think probably the most well, sure for all just because you're dealing with a company where that's their business. It's what they do. Um, and I saw quotes around $15 a month, $19 a month, some a little bit more, some a little bit less. I'm sure they have different features. Feel free to research. There's a ton of these out here. You just Google it. Trust me, there's a lot. Another thing you can do is a good Samaritan group pledge. What I mean by that? Well, this handsome devil, for instance, reviewed Masters of the Universe Fields of Eternia by Archon Studios. You can check out the link below to the review if you care enough about that um, to see 
if it's something for you, but it is only available in like 10 European countries, not even like all of Europe, just like specific countries. Thanks to the IP rights on distribution, they can only deliver to certain countries. IP rights are what they are. And so that's kind of a bummer for a lot of people, like say anybody in the US that wants to play Archon's area control game version of Masters of the Universe. They can only get Command's version, which doesn't ship to these. So if you want one or the other, you kind of have to go through some other means. One of them is by like this pinned comment right here that I pinned here. Uh, what he's saying is essentially, hey, I'll add other copies. You have to send him the money and trust him enough to, you know, take the money, pledge it, and then ship it to you. Um, but he's willing to do it at cost. So it, it all depends on trust here. This is why it's not the number one for me. Um, but I do like this method because it gets it to you pretty darn quick and not a scalper prices. That's why I said good Samaritan group pledges, but group pledges are possible. So you can actually go through somebody and say, okay, hey, order an extra copy for me. And then you can obviously then pay him the difference. Ideally, some of you tip him if you go through that route. I know several of you, there's already nine replies to that. And hopefully there's more after this. So, um, and again, you can follow the link to that comment. It's the top one, but you can essentially go through a group pledge or it'll all ship to him. And then after the fact, He's free to ship out to whoever the heck he wants as a gift or, you know, whatever it might be. Again, extra shipping, extra time, but it gets you the game. So it's not actually like you'll never see it. It is possible, especially in today's age, to ship stuff across the world if you need to. So definitely possible through that. What's also good with somebody like working with a person is you can typically um, work with them on how they ship it to you, right? Whether, whether it's the company or the packaging or something like that, right? If the box got all banged up, you can have them open it up and make sure everything's okay. Maybe even get the re replacement parts because once they send it to you, replacement parts aren't going to you, right? So if a bro there's a broken mini, you can use stuff like this to oftentimes actually get a little bit more interaction. So still very good if you can do this and if you can obviously trust the person too. Now, another way to do this is through friends and family. So what do I mean by that? Well, I'm going to go scroll up so you can uh, look, look at that for a little bit. Um, okay, so with your friends and family, if you have somebody studying abroad, if you have a cousin or a sister that's, you know, out in Europe right now or whatever, and they have an address where they can get stuff, you can certainly do that. A lot of times you can just say, uh, you know, hey, I'm, you just need to ship everything to here. I'm on vacation or something like that. There are ways to get an address enough to where you can actually actually get the package and pick it up. And then next time they come and visit, they can just bring it with them. You can put it on the plane as some check-in luggage be just fine. If you're not in a super hurry or if you know you're going to be there, uh, that is certainly possible as well. So friends and family are nice because you can trust them typically a bit more. Depends on your friends and your family, of course. Um, but they may not actually be part of the industry. They may not, not actually understand the, okay, open it up, make sure, you know, all the, all the stuff's printed right and ask for replacements and do all that kind of stuff. So pros and cons to both, probably a little bit more trust there, or at least easier trust there, but less understanding of these expensive board games that we're buying online. So, uh, you can kind of do either one of those or kind of in the same tier, but either way, definitely in the top 10 or the top five list, if you ask me. Now, another option is local retail. A lot of times retailers can make pledges on, on or orders on your behalf, right? Or they're going to order a whole bunch in. So they, however, might have no qualms about shipping it to you. So if there's something like the Masters of the Universe game only available in Europe and you want it in your anywhere else but those like 10 countries, well, there might be a retailer that is willing to work with you or work with the community to take in orders. And then again, after they get it, ship it out. So you really have several different options here where you can get it through a company. You can get it through a Good Samaritan group pledge. You can get it through a retail group pledge. You can get it through just a friend or a family that happens to be over there. And then lastly, if all of that fails, that's probably the best way to do it because you get it the fastest and the cheapest. There is the secondhand market in general. I'm talking eBay. I'm talking Board Game Geek Marketplace. I'm talking all of that kind of stuff. After the Kickstarter, after it hits retail and people can just pick it up, there will be people that scalp it or do something along those lines. Or maybe they just receive received it, they were just a, a regular person, but they ended up not liking the game. That happens a lot, or the hype died down, or the, the things changed and they moved and they don't have the gaming group they have, or a lot of things can cause somebody to sell a copy. Additionally, there are a lot of backers to pay for the Kickstarter, order a few anyway with the intent of selling it. Typically, that is at a little bit of an upcharge. So for instance, the group pledge here said, hey, I'm willing to do it at cost. As long as it doesn't cost me anything, I'm willing to put another label on this box with the money that I already 
got. That, that, that doesn't cost him too much time. And again, hopefully people tip him for that. I would, um, if he was doing me a favor like that. But anyway, that is another way to do it as well is actually through the secondhand market, just naturally. Um, there's, there's, it, unless you get into some customs issues, there's not a lot that you can't send to some, to somebody across the ocean somewhere or across borders or anything like that. So if there's something only available in Europe, you could totally get that just by buying somebody's, some Joe Schmo's copy and having them ship it to you. Again, pricier and probably more delayed than even the other one and probably not willing to do a whole lot of replacement parts and stuff like that, but is an option as well for a long time to come. In fact, online retailers might just not even block it and just ship it to you anyway. So if this goes retail over there, oftentimes you can still order it over here, but a lot of times they will still limit that address. So sometimes you have to kind of jump through some hoops, but that's really it. Not a, not a long video, hopefully not a long video, just something I thought might be helpful for some of you. I've seen many of you ask about it and you wanted my kind of opinion on it. I think those are the top five and pretty much the order I would align them in. I think it's surefire away. If you just want, you don't want to hassle, you don't want any of that, you can use one of those companies straight up. It's what they do. It's literally their bread and butter. Otherwise you can use a good Samaritan that they want to get you a pretty good deal and probably work with you a little bit too. And then of course there's friends and family. They'll probably get you a pretty good deal. I would hope they don't charge you too much extra, but might not be able to do all the stuff. And then last but not least, of course, you can go through retail or, uh, which might have a barrier anyway. So, uh, or then just the broader secondhand market after that. So that's really it. That's all I wanted to share. Again, this goes for stuff like Masters Universe. This goes for stuff like the, uh, come on one that won't be available in these countries. If you can get this right now on GameFound, you cannot get the come on one. They, they do not cross paths. So if you want one or the other or both, you're going to have to use a service or a person or a retailer or something like that. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Of course, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, let me know down below. And more importantly, if you know of another way to do this, share it with all of us. I would love to pin a comment. I would love to add it to the description. I would love to uh, just have other people know about other options that might be available to you. So again, thank you so much. And I'll talk to you guys again really, really soon.